Hey, Andrew Chelman here with MachineSkills.com. Make sure to subscribe and then stay tuned on the website so you don't miss any future tutorials. In this video, I'll be covering macro knobs in Machine. And as a quick overview, these knobs will allow you to control different parameters and keep them all in the same place. So it's just a nice way to um, kind of avoid the menu sorting and then just uh, have all the parameters in one place for easy control. And like a lot of things in Machine, these uh, macro knobs can be worked with either on the sound the group or the master level. So if I want to work on my sound level, I will use the macro knobs to control different parameters of my sound slots. So if I have a drum sample loaded up, just like I do here, I can control any of these different sampler parameters with my macro knobs. So if I want to have easy control over the pitch bend, for instance, as well as the, um, the velocity heading towards the volume modulation there, um, I can assign those to different macro knobs and then be able to control them just from the same place rather than um, clicking through these menus and sort of wasting time doing that. If I want to work on the group level, I can control um, sound slot parameters across the whole group. So um, I can control different parameters on this hi-hat as well as my kick, all from the same place. Also, if I have any effects loaded on my group, such as this maximizer here, I can control the different parameters, say the amount here, from those group macro knobs. Now the really cool thing happens when you move to macro knobs on the master level. You have easy hands-on control of essentially any parameter inside the machine project. And this is great for live performance ideas. So that's sort of the context that I'll be working in. So for this project, I have a drum group, a synth lead, and then this mic down here just for recording, so don't worry about that. And um, I'm going to add some effects here and then assign them to different macro knobs, and I'll show you sort of some ideas for live performance. So um, I'll start with my drum group here. Now what I'm going to do is head to my group level. I'm going to add a new effect here. I'm going to do this Waves Q1 EQ. And I like using this for a filter because it has a higher upper threshold than the, the machine stock one. So I'm going to load this up and then do low pass and then bring this all the way up. So I'll be able to um, use this as a filter on my drum group. Now also I'm going to add in, uh, let's see, um, Guitar Rig 5 here. Make sure I have that stereo mode um, enabled there. Go down to, let's see, Special Tools down here and use the Beat Masher. I'm going to um, use some of these different knobs here to get some cool effects on the drum group. And for now, I'm just going to load those effects and then uh, close them out. I won't be needing them for right now. Now for my synth lead here, I have Massive loaded up. And Massive is really nice because you have these pre-assigned macro knobs. Um, so this is just a stock preset from the synth. And it's nice because um, these different knobs here give you some really cool performance control. So um, that's all I'm going to work with here. I have a kind of a basic situation here, but just uh, just want to give you an idea of what you can do. So with these loaded up, I'm going to head to the master level here. I'm just going to press up here so I can access my macro knobs. So I have my option here. And first, you can't actually see anything. That's because we haven't actually uh, created any of these. So to get started, I'm going to head to the Pages menu down here. Now I'm going to select my first one. You can see it's an empty slot here. And I have this sort of a browser that I can choose any parameter for my whole project. So for this, I want to add that drum group filter. So I'm going to head to my groups. Here's my drum group here. Now I have some slots right here, including my um, EQ. So I'm going to select that. First page of parameters, and this is just going to be the frequency. So as soon as I hit that, you can see that my, my knob sort of appears here, and I have control over my drum group frequency. Okay, so just using that same process, I'm going to add another macro knob, and I'll be using the, um, the guitar rig one here. So I'm going to go to drums, guitar rig, first page, and for this, I will just uh, choose the on-off option. And um, when you assign a macro knob to a button, such as I'm doing right now, this is going to be off for values less than 0.5, and then as soon as you move up over that, it will um, enable the button. So just a quick little tip there. And then for my next one, I'll be doing drums, let's see, um, guitar rig five, page one, and I'll do the length. So um, between these two, these two are both uh, controlling that beat masher effect, and you'll get an idea of how that sounds like in just a little bit. Then finally, I'll go to my synth lead here, do my sound patch there, go to massive macro knobs. I'll do, let's see, I like this one, and then one more, go to lead, my sound slot, massive macro, 
and let's do cutoff. Now at any time, if you want to change what these knobs are assigned to, you can easily go into these menus here, select different sound slots or select different parameters to control. It's really nice once you have it set up since you have sort of that framework to work from. These macro knobs can also be assigned to different MIDI controls. So if you have a, a MIDI controller besides your machine hardware, you can head to the automation page here and then use the MIDI learn function to assign these to, um, to hardware that isn't the machine hardware itself. So that's a nice little thing there as well. So now that I've set up the macro knobs in the software, I can move to the hardware. So the first thing I'll do is navigate to that menu. So again, I applied these on the master level, so I'm gonna make sure I select that. And then I'm going to select channel with this button here and then scroll over to macro using these buttons at the top over here. Now you can see I have those macro knobs located on the hardware. So um, all these parameters from the entire project are now controllable right from these knobs right here. So now that everything is set up, I'm ready to start playback, change the different scenes, and uh, mess around with the different macro knobs. So this is just one possibility of what you can do with the macro knobs in Machine. I encourage you to get familiar with them and then use them in ways which you find most helpful. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video.